Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be on you. Welcome to the Gems from the Quran. And Alhamdulillah, still we are going with this great chapter, Surah Al Haqqah. And in the last previous episode, we stopped at the ayah number 24, where Allah Almighty said, Kulu wa shrabu hani'am bima aslaftum fil ayyam al khaliya. Allah Almighty telling to the believers, eat and drink in the satisfaction for what you put forth in the days of past. So this is the condition of the believers. They are enjoying eating, drinking with complete satisfaction in the paradise. But from the other side, if you recall and remember that I said, the believers will get the record from their right hand. They will get the book of deeds and the record from the right hand. What will happen to the disbelievers? What will happen to the sinners? What will happen to those who were denying Allah Almighty? What will happen to them? How will they get their own records and the books? Allah Almighty said in ayah number 25, وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِشِمَالِهِ فَيَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِي لَمْ أُوْتَ كِتَابِيَ But as for the one who is giving his record from the left hand, he will say, oh, I wish I had not been giving my record. And this is the worst case scenario. Allah also said in some other places, وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ so number one, he will be given the book from the left hand and he will be given from the backside that he does not want people to see. Not like the believer. The believer got it from the right hand and he got it in front of the people and what he was saying, read my book, read my book. But look at the shame that the disbeliever will have. First of all, he will get his record from the left hand and Allah also confirmed that he will get it and he will put it from the backside. He will put it in the backside. Why? Because he does not want people to see the worst case scenario, the worst condition of this person. He is having the book of deeds, the record, will full of sins, with full of bad things, with full of drugs and alcohol and womanizing and, and doing all the bad things. He does not want all these people to see what's going on. So he will take it from the left hand and he will also hide it and will get it from the back of his back or he will get it from his back. So he does not want people to see what's going on. And the one who will get his record from his left hand, he will say, Ya laytani lam uta Oh, I wish I should not get or I had not been giving the record. What happened? What is in this record? And what this person will react? Of course, we know this, this record is full of sins, full of bad things. But what will happen? He will say, وَلَمْ أَدْرِي مَا حِسَابِيَ Ayah number 26. He will say, وَلَمْ أَدْرِي مَا حِسَابِيَ And I don't know what is my account. I don't know what, where I will now go or what will happen to me ما أدري ما حسابية. I have no idea ولم أدري ما حسابية. then he will say because he knows that the end of the world and the resurrection and the suns and the moons and the stars and the skies everything now come to the end and he is seeing this horrible condition that he is living in and he is now getting the left the book from the left hand and he's saying, أدري ما حسابي. I don't know what will happen. He is now wishing something for himself. What he says, يا ليتها كانت القاضية. I wish, I wish that my death was the end. Was or it had been the decisive one. I wish that my death was the end. I don't want to see all these things that is going on with me. It will be more and more. But after the break, Stay with us, inshallah.
Welcome back, dear viewers. So now we are talking in the same chapter, the chapter of Al-Haqqa, Surah Al-Haqqa, and we stopped in the, before the break at the ayah number 27, where this non-believer, this disbeliever, the one who is denying and the denial, and this horrible person, he's going through this treatment. And he is saying now, after seeing all these things will happen to him, he will say, Ya laytaha kanat al -qadiyya. I wish that my death was the one where I will end. I, will, I should not get up again. I will not should come back to this world and, and the, in the, in the uh, hereafter, in the resurrection day. I, will, I should not come there and see the entire accountability, the day of judgment. Why? Because it's really horrible. He already got his bad deeds and the record from the left hand. So the first thing he wished, that I should not get my book from, be, from the left hand. The second thing he wished, he said, Ya laytaha kanat al -qadiyya. I wish that my death was the last thing. I should not get up again. Then he said, Ma aghna anni maliya. Now he is saying that my wealth has not availed me. My wealth didn't benefit me. My wealth that he used to have in this world, it could be millions or billions or trillions in the bank. He could be the big businessman or he could be the big person who's having this all luxury life and luxury, luxury uh, villas or the whatsoever the palaces that he is having, whatsoever. On the day of judgment, no palaces, no bank balance, no cars, no villas, nothing will help him. At that moment, he will say, Ma aghna anni maliya. My wealth is not helping me anymore. My wealth is not giving me any benefit anymore. My wealth has not availed me. That's it. No point of having millions of millions, but you are denying Allah, you are denying Prophet of Allah. What all this wealth will do to you? Nothing. And he is by himself is witnessing on the Day of Judgment by saying, Ma aghna anni maliya. My wealth is not helping me and not availed me. Then what he will say? He will say in the ayah number 29, Halaka anni sultaniya that my authority is gone. I have nothing now with me. You know, in this world, in this dunya, he could be the minister, he could be the manager, he could be the boss, he could be the big businessman, he could be whatsoever. He could be the leader, he could be the minister, he could be the president of a country. He can have the whole power and the whole army under his control, right? But on the day of judgment, what he will say? I have no authority. All my authority is gone. Gone is my authority. Everything is gone. So neither his wealth, his mal is helping him, neither his authority, Sultan or Sultania is helping him. What? Why? Why all this happening? Why he is now not able to get any help from the wealth or the authority or whatsoever because he was not using it for the sake of Allah. He was not furnish, furnishing all these facilities for the sake of Allah. He was into himself. He was denying Allah Almighty even though he is having the entire world, let's say. But what happened? Allah Almighty will put him into the punishment. And then you know what will happen? After now he's cursing himself. He's saying, Ya laytaha kanat al -qadiyya. That I wish that, you know, it was the end. I wish I will not get the book from my left hand. I wish, I wish my wealth didn't help me. My authority didn't help me. Nothing will help me. While he is cursing himself and blaming himself and crying, something will happen. Allah Almighty will talk and Allah Almighty will say something Amazing. Insha'Allah Ta'ala, we will know what Allah Almighty said in the next episode. Until then, take care of yourself. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.